Hello guys, this is Ryo69501 and welcome to my channel. Well, I'm gonna give you my thoughts for Old, old Man Logan issue number one. Check out this cover. Awesome, huh? And this is written with, by Jeff Lemire and the artist is Sorrentino. Look at that cover. Awesome. I like it. Well, the story. Well, the story, the way I see it, is it starts just after what happened on Old Man Logan's Secret Wars. Secret Wars. Now, that miniseries. Now, Old Man Logan's Secret, Secret Wars, I have not read it. So, according to this, and what I also read on Splodinary X-Men issue number one, where we can see there Old Man Logan, sorry about the glare again, well, if I want to think about a bounding timeline, will be all my Logan Secret Wars, then we continue here, and then from here we go to X Men. Okay, the thing is, here on X Men, it tells you the story of what happened with all my Logan on his Earth. Here is what happened. After Secret Wars, when he arrived to our timeline, which is 2015. So he's in a new city, new world. He do not understand what's going on. So basically, that's what the story is about. So if you haven't read it, on my Logan Secret Wars as me, well, you might, you might be a little bit lost, but you can you can get the, the information about all my Logan Secret Wars of the internet. And that will kind of like refresh me, uh, kind of like will put you up to date to understand where this going and where this new series is coming from. So basically, all my Logan shows up in the city. He doesn't know how, naked. He doesn't know how he got there and why. So I have to say, so here we see a couple of his... Uh, all his memory was what's going on on his mind. Now I have to say that they, I like the art. Although I believe this is the same artist as with, uh, I think was uh, on Renato or I Vampire. One of those two issues, Sorrentino work. If not him, well, this someone close to him or vice versa. Anyway, so basically the whole story is like, like, that, like that. We get to see here on the new timeline in our earth. So he goes to the desert. He sees the heavy carrier from the new Avenger that is trash. These are, are the effects of Secret Wars. And basically, so he's, he meets this guy named Butcher. What a name. So he sees that he's kind of like uh, abusing his son. So all my Logan sees that. And you can tell that he's not the Wolverine as we know. He doesn't pop his claw. So he's kind of like a peacemaker. And that because of all the atrocities that he did on his earth, that he killed all the Avengers. And not the Avengers, all the X-Men. Because he was, con he was mind controlled by Mysterio. I believe so. Which I haven't read it, but that's the information I got over the internet. And basically, so he finally... Ah, we see the iconic moment here. Uh, Look at that. Return of the Dark Knight, but with Wolverine, which I like that. That's, although I would not think it's a copy, but it's more like, uh, uh, more, uh, there's a saying that, uh, what's, it goes like this. Uh, oh, I forgot. Anyway, but I guess, I, ho I hope that, you understand what I'm trying to say. So I love this double page. I like that. It would be look nice on a poster. Really nice on a poster. 
So basically, that's the whole story. And I will be there. So now he decides to go and find the people that he might think or he thinks that it, that is going to get worse. But before that, he decided to get Butcher, the guy who was abusing his son, and just chopped his arm, and he just, well, pretty much have a gruesome death. And this is the first time that he actually killed on this new earth for him. So now, he has a list of the hitmen on his hit list, which is Butcher, Banner, Mysterio, and Red Skull. And that was the end of it. So, the issue, it was really good. Even though that you do not know what happened on Secret Wars, it doesn't matter. You can get, you can read it online. Just kind of have a, a basically idea what's going on. Once you read this comic book, if you are reading X-Men, extraordinary X-Men, you will understand why Logan is acting the way he's acting on this book because of this. <laughs> Believe it or not. And I like the art. The story is real. It's really straightforward. I like the pace of the story. Not to jumping around left and right, up and down. The art it was really nice, as you see. And I would give this book 4.5 out of 5. So if you're not, if you're a fan of, of Wolverine, well, you should get, get Old Man Logan. Because he is worth it. At least on issue number one, to me, in my opinion, I believe that it's going to be a really good series. And like I said before, I would give it 4.5 out of 5. Well, guys, this is it. Till later. Bye.